Hey guys, welcome to Fireteam Base. This is Reaper and I'm here with Bees and today we're going to be talking about how to win at Fortnite Battleground. Now here you can see we're in the, the late game stages. There's nine people left in a duo match and you're going to get to see from both our perspectives some of the strategies we think that really helps you, uh, you know, succeed when you get to the end game. Yeah, you obviously want to, uh, you obviously want to let the storm work for you in this situation and the antsiness of other players let them battle it out a little bit so uh when it shows you how many players are left don't forget that de depending on how many people are left in your crew um that counts towards the people left so it's me reaper and six other players which is why there are eight on the screen right now true and as you can see we've kind of scouted the area out we see that people have built a lot up so we have a pretty good idea that there's at least one group up on the mountain and we see them building out that way. And like we said, we see that the mountain is excluded from the storm. So instead of just running in guns blazing, we're actually trying to hang back and let the storm try to push them to us. We're gradually creeping up, keeping our distance, and trying to stay silent. That's key. That's key. You know, a lot of people get impatient quick. And, you know, it just also depends the type of players in the lobby, too. I mean... As you can see in the distance, this guy's bringing or building a, a bridge up to the or staircase up to the tower up there, and there's some guys with an actual base in the middle there. So, see the storm eye is shrinking now, so we're getting gradually right into that circle and using it to our advantage. We have great peak points. I'm watching the north northeast, and Reaper, what are you watching right now? I'm watching North and Northwest, and we actually agreed at the moment to split up and keep an eye because we've seen the teams kind of exchanging fire, and we have a pretty good idea that there's one to the right, most likely, in the Ford up ahead that you can see, and then another group up on top of the mountain. So yes. we split up, but we're watching, and right there on my screen, you can see that uh, someone actually dropped up out of the hit, dropped down out of the hills. So I'm trying to creep up on them without uh, giving away my position. Yes. And again, we're just waiting and luring them in. We yeah, let them do their do the dirty work for us. Yep, and, and then, then we the engage once two. it's down to the last of us. Yeah, I kind of missed a few shots there. It's pretty tough with these scoped rifles, and um, Reaper starts getting shot at the top there, and I finally notice the dude, and I start shooting him. His uh, base goes down, and I knock him down, but for some reason I can't get the uh, can't get the kill there. It was just a little out of reach, and. Reaper was shouting out that I had a dude to my left there. I pick up a freaking yes. rocket launcher with nothing in it. So I was like, oh, lucky to be alive. And then luckily Reaper was even though I stopped away. To, even though I stopped to heal, I was still wa trying to watch the left side for my teammate. And that's what I was doing. So what were you now thinking here? You can see here? I pick up a purple shotgun. And in the, in the heat of the moment, I didn't even equip it. I'm still using the green shotgun I have, which is level two. Uh... But I didn't really want to sit there and cycle through my guns in case, you know, someone came running around the corner. I just stuck with what I had. And at first here, you can see we're pushing them. And they keep building everything up, trying to lure us into the fort. And we're actually on the fence here as to what we should, what we should do. You see bees moved in, and I kind of stayed on the outside. Yeah, Ideally, I... you want to do the same thing, but we had different ideas in the moment of how best to attack. Yeah, we were kind of we panicking up settling a little on backing bit. Off. We were pa panicking a little bit there, so luckily when Which you were like, just exactly come outside. Which is exactly what you don't want to do. Yeah, when you said just come outside, just <laughs> right. come outside, I was like, all right, clutch. Like, get the hell out of here. Let these dudes come at us and then get these kills. I'm healing up real quick while Reaper's dealing with that. And map knowledge is key. You can see that the storm was working in our favor. We had forced them to come out to us because we, we saw on the map that the storm was going to force them out of the fort. And as you can see, they got desperate there at the end, and we just took advantage of them. Yep. We both actually thought we had the last kill in the moment, too. So that that was good. Yeah, it was literally one right after the other, which was nice because when you... I think, theoretically, did you knock your guy down, or you just shot him and killed him in one hit, right? I downed him first, and then I killed him with the second yeah. shot. Because when you downed him, this dude... Uh, his partner tried to come up after him, but I snuck around the uh, um, little staircase that I built in the beginning right before the battle, and then I took him out with one hit. So that was, uh, you know, you just got to you gotta have your head on straight there and just think about it and just make sure that uh, you and your partner are working together because it is a team game.
Absolutely. When you're playing in a group, keep everyone together, keep everyone close and stay conservative. And at times, you know, it'll work in your advantage. Now, if the storm had been on the other side and we would have had to run into the fort, we would have been at a disadvantage, but we would have known that we were going to have to do that. So we would have changed our strategy up. Really, map awareness and awareness of the storm is huge in this game. That's right. That's right. And don't be too greedy. That's another thing you got to remember. Don't be too greedy because the, le the next thing you know, you're, uh, the storm is flying right by you and you're losing a bunch of health trying to get to uh, where the point is, safe, safe area is. So, And even with kills, as you can see, I had three at the end of the game. I think Bees had four, he said. Uh, you know, we didn't have the highest kill totals, but we wound up winning because we didn't go out and engage like we could have. I mean, they, they were, there was a time where the two teams were fighting it out and we could have started firing at another one. But instead, we sat back, we let them kind of wear each other down, and then we swooped in to finish them off. I think that game took us about 30 minutes of total playing um, of that round to play, if I'm not mistaken. So I, they'll, get, uh, they'll get a little laborsome once you're uh, getting down there and taking time. If, obviously, it depends on the type of lobby you're in. But, yeah, we played a really calm game that game, for sure. And it can, it can hurt when you get down to the end. You played for 30 minutes, and you wind up getting taken out at the end. I think we've had a second or a third place finish that was like that. But ideally, if you want to win, you need to stay conservative, and you need to stay smart. That's the biggest things. Yeah, I think our biggest problem Take the kills that if game, they're there. Yeah, take the kills if they're there. But the biggest problem in our, in, that we went through that game was we weren't patient. That third place finish, we weren't patient. This game, we were super patient. It's the way you got to be. When it's, you know, Absolutely. you and a couple of other guys. So, All right, guys, that's going to do it for our video on how best to win in Fortnite. Like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on how to strategically play Fortnite and other video games that we have on our channel. And let us know down in the comments below how many games you've won, what kind of strategies you've used to do that. And for Fireteam Base. Bees out, slag. Keep reaping, guys.